What is the most impossible Minecraft seed? You've probably seen plenty of YouTube videos claiming that floating structures or the world's smallest biomes or even fully lit portals with a 1 in 10 million chance of spawning are the rarest. But that's a lie. Today, we're going to find Minecraft's most impossible seed. Up first, we have what you guys voted for as the best seed y'all have ever played. So let's see if it's any good. And wait, is this a village? Underground? Nah, fam. If I didn't just make this world, I genuinely wouldn't think this was real. I thought it was like some sort of YouTube clickbait thumbnail. And it's not just a regular village. This thing is an abandoned village, which are even rarer to spawn in. Wait, we have a dungeon right here as well with loot. But is it actually rare or is it just really cool? Is it possible for other structures to also generate underground? I began researching. Hold up. I guess it is possible. Is that a whole bloomin' woodland mansion inside of a cave? Yo, this thing looks absolutely cursed. Vines hanging down. Vines just floating. Yep, yeah, this thing is definitely cursed. Unfortunately, it turns out underground structures are actually pretty common, but it did give us a lead. The structures only spawned incorrectly because of a bug in the terrain generation code. So it might be possible that this bug has caused other even rarer structure seeds to exist. And I was right. Check out this seed on Bedrock Edition, which takes this bug to a whole new level. So the minute we get in, it starts going bonkers with this woodland mansion at spawn, which by the way, only one of these spawn every 10,000 blocks. So it's the rarest structure in Minecraft, but that ain't it. Obviously, we got this lovely lagoon going on here, but this is where, this is the madness. Like, I, I, I have no words. We have a village hanging out with a pillager outpost, like lifelong enemies here just chilling out, having a holiday. And then a ruin portal at spawn, bro. What's the loot out here looking like? That's pretty good. You can't ask for much more than that at an alley. Bro, you get a pet alley at spawn. This seemed pretty impossible, but is it the most impossible? In Minecraft, a single structure has the possibility to spawn anywhere in a thousand block area. And since there are millions of seeds, there should be at least a few that have even more structures. There's just one problem. This seed alone took me hours to find and at this rate, this video would take months. Luckily, I found a software that changes everything. Let's see if this seed that the software gave us is any good at all. Okay, regular spawn, nothing. What the? Nah, fam, that is broken, what? Okay, let me count this. Desert Temple, one. Desert Village, two. Pillager Outpost 3, and they're literally inside each other. They're not even next to each other. And a Ruin Portal 4, Shipwreck 5, and is that... Don't tell me that's also Ocean Ruins. It is. It is. Six structures. I don't even know if this counts next to each other because those are actually inside each other. This software was genius. Using a top-down view of any Minecraft world, I could explore seeds in minutes and find anything rare. Like this outpost with literally nine cages when usually they only have two or three. But then I realized I could recode the software to find the most impossible seeds for me. Within minutes, it found this seed where a ruined portal spawns inside a woodland mansion, burning it down to the ground and in the process, activating itself so you can go to the nether without doing anything. But it couldn't find everything. So I left it to run in the background. Okay, it seems like this guy is creating the world from scratch with the seed, so nothing sus there. It seems pretty real to me. What's in this seed? A bunch of planes? Not interested. What? Ain't no way. Bro, this might be the seed we're looking for. The most impossible seed. I mean, they're totally in the wrong biome. There's crazy terrain. They're on top of each other. Multiple structures. And he's given us the coordinates. All right, I need to see this for myself. Not gonna lie, this seed spawn sucks, but that's not what we're here for. We need to go to negative 154. Okay, and he put 9329. Let's see it. Hold on. This is just a normal ocean. I mean, there's a ship. Right. Where is it? Hold on. Did I get the coordinates wrong? Bro, it's fake. Are you serious? He must have put a cut in there. Are you. Bro, this is why I don't trust channels with only 200 views. Are you serious? I got clickbaited. But this gave me an idea. Is it even possible for a structure to spawn on top of an ocean biome? Or is this the impossible seed we've been searching for? A woodland mansion in the middle of the ocean. I mean, it's not as crazy as the other one, but 
At least it's a bit more believable. It was real? This seat had an entire woodland mansion just chilling in the ocean over a thousand blocks away from the closest land. It made no sense. What caused this? A good friend of mine, Mojang, was willing to answer that question. Apparently, there's a bug in Bedrock Edition and some early versions of Java which misrecognize the terrain in an ocean biome, causing it to act like land. What the... Yeah, it definitely got this biome wrong. Did it just generate an entire cave system? above the ground and then it hit me glitches what if i could find a seed with all of them surely that would be the most impossible scene for this scene you have to teleport really really far away but i promise you it's worth it once you see what's going on check this out <laughs> i can't help but laugh when i see this like this is impossible uh, what the, the tallest cactus you normally see is three blocks and so for this to occur, literally every chunk in the area had to spawn a three block cactus on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cactuses had to stack on each other perfectly. Like, what are the chances of that? Now, this scene is subscribe. And I know what you guys are thinking. Jordan, really? You made up a scene just to get us to subscribe? I did it, guys. This is legitimately the scene. I didn't make it up for views. I promise you, it's real. And it has upside down trees. Like... The, the, the trees are spawning in the ground. Like, what is with that? It's so odd. This is one of the weirdest glitches. You can see, like, even, like, the leaves are spawning down shit as well. Bro, I don't know. This cow, I reckon we're blaming this cow. It's definitely his fault. You must die for your sin. I said die, die for your sin, cow! Die! But they don't even compare to these two seeds my contact at Mojang sent me, which both have this insane repeating generation glitch. And if a Mojang employee had such rare seeds what could a player from the dark web have they hack databases all the time so they likely have way more hidden information so i hired one for one thousand dollars this seed better work because i paid a ton of money for this what, what the have you guys ever seen anything like this because i definitely have not i can't even like guys i cannot fly outside of this one little line that i am trapped inside of the firelands have got nothing on this you can't be serious what is the dragon doing down there and where is the portal hold up the portal is down here bro the portal ain't even exist it's literally just the, the top of it there's no way back to the overworld once you come to the end on this scene you are trapped for good. Okay, that's it, guys. There is no way a seed is more impossible than this. But my contact claimed that just for $1,000 more, he would give me a seed no one has ever seen before. Please subscribe, guys. This video has been very expensive. I mean, this looks like a normal village to me. Oh, my gosh. Bro, that's crazy. And he's going to give us the seed for this? Bro, I'm going to be overpowered in a second. I'm so hyped. The last two were crazy. This one looks even crazier. I, I need to know how long this village goes on for. Come on, and... Okay. Got some ice. Bro, he was in a plane. No, no, no. Not again. Not again. We did not get fooled again. And this is worse than getting clickbait. He took $1,000 of my money. Bro, I'm texting him. I need to know what's going on. He blocked me. This fool. He blocked... He took my money and ran. I was scammed. And I was not happy. Until... I realized that this seed might actually exist. I mean, we saw before that structures can spawn on top of each other. So what if villagers just did the same thing? I found this, the world record for the largest village in Minecraft history. And just like structures, what if biomes could repeat next to each other, creating infinite biomes? All right, we spawned in a mangrove here. Let's see what we got going. Oh my gosh, all we have going on is mangrove. Holy flip, this is... This is mangrove for days! Wait, I found something even bigger. The world's largest mushroom biome. Holy, you got mushrooms for days out here. Yeah, if you don't like eating mushrooms, this is not the biome for you. And I hate mushrooms, so I guess I should not be here at all. Guys, wait. Guys, my software. It finally found another seed we haven't tested yet. All right, we're trying this out right now. Chuck this into your games, guys. We're testing this out together. Come on. Plains biome. Don't tell me we got clickbait. What is that? This isn't even Minecraft. Bro, this looks something out of a movie, like a fantasy novel? Oh, I, oh, this is a fairy tale world. It, like, even the game is struggling to load it in. It's just shocked at how insane that... What? 
What is this? It's like a ginormous sinkhole. At the bottom of the ocean, there's exposed lava. As if this, this could have been like a volcanic activity or something, but volcanoes don't exist in Minecraft. It almost looks like someone like copy pasted this in with world edit because of how fake this generation looks. Not to mention this ocean village going inside a cliff where there is a mine shaft, these incredible waterfalls, this, this house spawned inside the water. How is that possible? I mean, there's also a run portal here, but compared to everything else, it's not even cool. The 1.19.2 update completely changed terrain generation in Minecraft, but apparently that just created new, never before seen bugs. The rarest one, sinkholes. Using the software, I began targeting seeds that combined sinkholes with any other glitches that exist. Now, it gave me a ton of seeds, but this one stood out to me in particular, while the others had sinkholes galore with all kinds of different glitches. This one apparently has all the glitches in one, which sounds too good to be true. It's almost like the software is clickbaiting me, but it should be 100% correct. It's at these coordinates, negative 751, 100, 200. All right, let's see. There's no, wait, this is what I mentioned. And what is that? Wait, what? Is that an ocean monument? Not only is there a broken ocean temple, there's literally a woodland mansion on top of it. Nowhere near a dark oak biome. But then it gets even crazier with this pillager outpost just shooting into the air. Oh, and by the way, there's a buried treasure and an entire stronghold directly underneath. This is without a doubt the most impossible scene. In fact, it's so impossible, it might not even be a bug. Maybe someone from Mojang secretly created this. 